Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a foundation first impression review and wear test over the seems like cult classic number seven lift and illuminate foundation. I've wanted to try this for so long and um, this brand and like Physicians Formula, I like to wait until their products do uh, buy one get one 50% off because I feel like you can save money that way because this is like $15 I think. But if you want to see my thoughts on this, how it wears on my skin because I have a dry to normal skin, then just keep on watching. So I have it pulled up on Ulta's website right now and it has four and a half stars, which is great. I've heard nothing but great things about this foundation. It retails for $15.99. It has eight colors for a shade range. I have the lightest shade, which is cool vanilla. Eight shades isn't really that much when it comes to a shade range, so it is a little bit more disappointing. It's a lift and illuminate foundation, so I wouldn't recommend for oily skin because it just has that luminosity to it which normally you're normally trying to mattify your oils and not create more so I would probably go maybe towards just dry skin if you have combo you could probably try this out but um it does have SPF 15 on it it says the number seven lift and illuminate foundation especially formulated to lift firm and brighten your skin disguising lines and wrinkles as well as evening out the skin tone to give a flawless look perfect for normal to dry and dry to very dry skin type so basically states like oily skin I would probably stay away from product is hyperallergenic and contains SPF 15 so it does have SPF in it it's not a lot of SPF but any type of SPF is good especially you know I live in Texas it's hot as hell 24 seven here and the sun is always shining except today. It's, you know, the one day I have lots of videos I wanna film, new stuff I wanna film and it's like, oh, I'm gonna rain today. <laughs> it's just, it happens to me every time. Like I have the new Pro Glow concealer and powder and I wanna film this so bad and there's like this giant rainstorm coming. It's gonna rain today. Anyways, uh, that's totally off the subject of the foundation. We're gonna be trying this out today. And I have a fever blister on my lip and it hurts so freaking bad. And I've had a Breva on it for the past two days and it has not gone away. It's very irritating because I can't put lip products on. But um, as far as the box goes, I actually really like the box. I like this reflective packaging. I've gotten more into um, number seven products lately. I don't know why I just have and I don't know why I've never like looked at this brand when I've been at Ulta. I think the reason I've never looked at it is because it is the same price point as Physicians Formula and I kind of not overlook it but I don't pay very much attention to it because it is more expensive and I could get a lot of things from like Makeup Revolution and Essence and all that for the same price of like the number seven or Physicians Formula stuff. So as far as packaging goes, the packaging is honestly really really nice. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay All Nighter because you're able to see the product and then the little um, like the little pump moves up, pushes all the product out so you're able to use up everything. This has one fluid ounce which is typical for most foundations and I really like it. it does have a pump I think it's nice you know classy clean sleek packaging it says for best results blend on smoothly and evenly with your fingers or a sponge we will be using a sponge today this is the eco tools one and to be completely honest I'm not in love with it I have softer sponges but I will be doing like a um, best of drugstore um, sponges beauty blender dupes video I'm trying out probably like 10 or 15 sponges right now so keep an eye out for that but yeah i'm curious about this bad boy we're just going to pin our hair back real quick so i'm not going to put on a primer or anything for longevity purposes just something to kind of refresh and rehydrate my skin it's going to be the makeup revolution pro base aqua priming base it's going to spray this over that way it kind of um revives my skin because it's you know i haven't put anything on it since last night when i applied my moisturizer and i really enjoy this stuff i've been getting into more facial sprays i just got the um next one so that will probably be in an ulta haul that i will be filming today or tomorrow so keep an eye out for that but when i am filming this video because for some reason i always forget like to include the time i'm filming it it is a 11 at 10 exactly right now so i'm gonna try and get a lot of wear out of this foundation probably not like 10 hours until my lighting goes bad basically with this rain i'm gonna shoot for about six Hopefully my lighting stays good. If not, I'm gonna be like filming the ending in like a weird spot wherever I can get lighting. Again, has a pump, really great feature. We're going to pump some out on the back of my hand. So really thick. It's not like really running anywhere. It's doesn't it doesn't seem too thick. It almost seems not whip, but just really um light. Doesn't really have a smell to it. And it actually kind of reminds me of like a baby product. So I guess we will just start out with this amount. I'm not really too sure how much you should apply. And I'm going to begin tapping this out. 
So it is blending really easily. Like that's already blended into my skin and we are gonna be so glowy today because the aqua priming base and then all of the luminous foundation and then the Provo concealer. And, ooh, it's gonna be a lot of luminosity, but I think I need to add just a little bit more because that gave me pretty sheer coverage, I would have to say. It's definitely not um, medium to full right now, but this blended in pretty good. I mean, I really didn't have to do very much um, tapping of my sponge. So it's blending in really nicely. I like the color. I mean, I'm glad I like the color because they don't really have very many options when it comes to color. But now that I have it completely blended out, I would definitely have to say it's medium coverage. You can still see this little thing that popped up um, last night. So I would definitely have to say medium coverage. It's not full, but to have something this, yeah, you definitely need to set it too. But to have something this like luminous and dewy, I kind of like that it's more medium coverage because it still looks like my skin. Like you can still see my freckles on my nose. And I don't mind when you see my freckles, to be completely honest, like it really doesn't bother me. But this looks really good. I am dewy right now. It does have SPF, so I wouldn't trust it for photography if you are using flash because there could be a small flashback. But I honestly, like first impression, this looks really good. It's matching me nicely. I think once I can feel and bronze and things like that, it's gonna look even better. So this does look really good. I'm liking it right now. I'm going to um, film a video over the Infallible Pro Go Concealer and Powder. I'm going to finish all the rest of my makeup, my eye makeup, everything like that, and then I will come back and do a check-in then once I have all the products on top of it. So I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, so I wanted to do my update after I finish all my face makeup. It's currently 12.03, so it's been about an hour since I've had the foundation on. Um, did not film any of this, so if you are interested in anything on my face or if you want a tutorial on the eye look, just let me know in the comments below. But foundation looks really, really good still. The color matches me so well. Um, it did sink into my forehead expression lines as well as the concealer, but that always seems to happen. It looks really good. It's not dry or cakey around my nose. I don't have a lip color on because I have a fever luster and ain't nobody trying to spread that around because I don't even want this on my face to begin with. But it looks really, really good still. I'm like really in love with it. So I'm curious how it's gonna do through the Texas heat humidity because it looks good now because I've been indoors and AC, but I think it's gonna last all day and I think it's gonna last for a while. I don't think it's gonna break up or um, cake anywhere or dry out. The luminosity is still there, so it still looks really good. So I'll probably do one check-in at the very end of the day. That way we can see if there's a dramatic difference from now till then, it is 12.04. So I'll probably check in closer to like 5.30 or six. Okay, y'all, so it's gonna be my final update. It is 6, 6.30, I believe it's somewhere in there. And my lighting's gonna get really bad really quick. Um, so just gonna do my final update. I have been running around all day doing errands and um, yeah, I'll, I can make the comment right now. I am a dewy person. Everything I used to do was super dewy. So it's just made my skin even dewier. Like I'm dewy here, dewy here. And you can feel the dewiness through the powder because normally when I set my um, face prior, whenever I put everything on, it wasn't this dewy. So some of my just, you know, just natural skin oils have come through. And I'm not normally an oily person, but all those dewy products I put on top of it, you can definitely tell. Um, it's not um, like wearing off at all anywhere. It looks like it has a little bit right here, but I've been laying down, hand on my face, you know, the usual things you do as like a normal human being. And um, other than just that, it's not um, like in the sides of my nose. It hasn't clung to anything anywhere. It's, it's so dewy. I don't really have any dry patches right now at the moment for it to cling to. Um, as far as settling in a fine line or anything like that, um, has not settled really anywhere actually. And my forehead lines were settled into earlier, but so for some reason they look a lot better now. It hasn't gone cakey between my eyebrows, hasn't worn off around my um, hairline, anything like that. It honestly looks really good, except that I'm extremely dewy and um, just, you know, natural, just touchy of my face. But this foundation is really nice. If I think the one recommendation I would I would say if you're gonna wear this or get this, obviously have dry skin, dry to normal skin, at least if you're oily, stay far away from it. Um, and pair it with a normal concealer like Chart, Chart, 
oh my god heart shape tape or maybelline fit me or better skin or nyx hd or wet and wild photo conceal something that's a uh, satin matte or matte finish something that's not this dewy um i was just trying a bunch of your products today that's why i have um dewy products on but i would definitely pe uh, peer with that and maybe like a more matte powder to keep you matte during the day and then as the day goes on some of your um Obviously some of the doingness will come through. I was running around in the heat today for like three or four hours. I was a little sweaty, so that's probably also why. But other than that, I really like the foundation. It didn't oxidize, it didn't do anything funky. Um, so yeah, I definitely give it two thumbs up. And it was about a pump and a half that covered my whole face exactly how I wanted it to. So I'm definitely pleased with this. I will link the foundation down below if you are interested on Ulta's website. That way you can go check it out in stores. My Ulta does carry it. I know Target's carry number seven. Um, I'm not 100% sure if all Ulta's carry number seven, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure they do, but don't quote me on that. But I won't get it down below for Ulta's website. And if y'all have any other foundation recommendations that y'all want me to do a video over, let me know in the comments below, drugstore or high end. These are one of my favorite videos to film just because I like testing new stuff out, especially foundations. My foundation drawer is like huge, like I'm a foundation junkie. So if y'all have any recommendations, let me know down below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out any future videos. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye y'all.